Hi and welcome to RC Kicks on today's show. Basically we're gonna go over all the little projects that I've got in the air at the moment, what's coming on the channel very, very soon. And people keep asking me because I bring things on the channel and ask me what's going on with that? You started it, but it's not finished. And like most people, we start one project and then go, ooh, I like this project. And then you go, oh, I'll come back to that tomorrow. And then three weeks go by. So of course, sometimes you see things and then they disappear for a little while and they fall down the list. Other projects come up, things like that. So uh, I'm gonna go through the things that are currently, you may have seen already. I'll also post a link back to that video if you haven't seen it. And uh, what's happened with that project? Am I waiting on anything? Have things come in, any parts, that kind of stuff. So we're gonna start with the first one, which is these two. Now, the last video I posted, I'll put a link up here was the, I had to decide whether I was gonna keep the Riri mint condition one, which has never been driven, or the A stamp. Now, it turns out that I decided that I, I would sell a 2001 Avanti and keep both. I just couldn't split them up. I, I know they're almost identical, but one is the original and then one is the reproduction version, but I just loved the idea of having both. And I had a 2001 Avanti and I had another one. So one is my Shelf Queen one, which is up there at the moment, that needs a new body, which I have waiting. So I had another one, which was gonna become a driver version, but really I didn't see, they were identical cars, just one was in better condition than the other. So I thought I'll rather sell one of those and keep these two. Um, because they are like the reproduction one and the original one and they kind of go together really nicely. So that's how I talked myself into keeping both, even though I did really buy this one thinking I was going to sell it. But there was a few things I needed to do after deciding that I was going to keep it. One, it needed a new set of tyres and two, it didn't come with an original body. This body is not correct for this car obviously, so I have luckily picked up a brand new set of tyres for it, which are vintage ones. Um, fantastic, the person uh, saw that I was after some of these and got in contact and it, brilliant. So uh, I won't tell you who he is because I didn't ask him if it was okay to put him on the channel, but he knows who he is and a big thank you because they're not the easiest things to get hold of. So these are gonna go onto this car. Also, I picked up a reproduction body that um, from Penguin. It's obviously it's not as good as an original one, but it's not far off it. It's a very basic body. Um, it's just some of the definition is not quite there. But what I did was I used the original body to give me the edges so that I can cut this one out. So this will go onto this car unless I can find an actual original one. Um, but this would be good enough to be quite Both of these cars will be dry. Uh, will be able to be driven, but they'll only be driven around the garden once or twice a year probably, as I just want to have a bit of a play with them. Um, so in an upcoming video, the this car will get a full strip down, full rebuild, body will be painted up. I still need to get some reproduction decals from it, from MCI. Um, I have some original set for the Riri, and then put the tires on and then we'll build it all back up again and it will be as clean as I can get it. One of the arm, one of the metal rods is a little bit bent, so I've got to straighten that out as well or replace it. Um, I'm going to keep the original electronics in it, so it's going to stay pretty much exactly like this. So that's the plan for this one, and then this Riri one, I'm going to paint up the body and put all the decals on that I have. I uh, need to get some electronics for this car. I'm probably going to try and find some period ones. Um, they can be a little bit difficult to find and to put into this car as well, because I want both of them to be able to run. So that's the two gold pans. I am talking to someone about a um, a world's car. I'll put a picture of a world's car up. So I'm hoping I can get my hands on it. Um, it needs to be built and it's in its box. So, but I don't know whether it's just gonna be crazy expensive. But I'll keep you posted if I end up getting that, because I'd love to bring that on the show and do an actual build of one of these cars, but uh, new inbox kits um, get very expensive in RC10 vintage stuff, but I'll keep you posted. 
Okay, another new car that's come to RC Kicks, and this fills that little hole that I had left in my Kyosho Mid collection. This is an SE. This is the last version that I didn't have that basically went in between these two cars here. Now, it doesn't look much, and I granted it needs quite a bit of love. So far, I've actually just done the tires and wheels, cleaned the tires, and basically bleached the wheels, got all the dirt off them. They're a little bit scuffed, but they came up really well. So if you want to clean up some um, Optima Mid wheels, what I did was I got a bucket of bleach, put the, obviously not the tires, put them in the bleach, left them for about, just about an hour, turned them over and it pulled all the dirt out of the rim. And they came up, I mean, they were, also they were sprayed silver as well. So that all came off. Um, so they come up lovely so i was really chuffed with those and the tires were all dirty so give them a clean tires are originals and they're still in really good condition so i don't know if these actually came with the car um it doesn't look like it's done too much mileage um there is some damage down the bottom but i've managed to find a replacement mint ch chassis for it so it will get a replacement chassis um i still have to find a body electronics and things like that for it um, this will need a full strip down, but since I'm changing the chassis anyway, I have no problem with it. It's uh, One thing that's really nice about it is it's pretty much complete. It's got its anti-roll bars. The plastic section that sits between the belt where the motor goes is still intact. They disappear quite easily. Um, it's got its anti-roll bars, which is fantastic. Little bit of sort of rust around the uh, springs, but a good clean and they'll come up fine. The arms are a bit rusty, so I'll probably clean those or swap them out, but it hasn't done that much work. Needs a new front bumper, which is not a problem. A new body, new decals. Uh, this car actually came with its box. So I've got everything, original manual, original box. I've got, I've actually got the decals, original decals for this car as well. So once I source a body, I will be laughing. Um, it also came with a couple of motors, which I've now passed on. And also it came with a box for a, uh, no, for the original uh, mid. So I now have two correct boxes for a mid and the SE, correct manuals for both cars one motor I've kept and the car. And for that, it, it came, uh, I got a really good deal on it. And I sold uh, one of the motors that came with it and that covered well over half of the whole price. So I'm really chuffed. So that will be coming soon, but I'm going to start, I'm basically collecting parts all the time for the, the Kurosho mids because they're really difficult to get. You can't just go, I want to spend 200 quid, go online and go buy, 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 turns up, rebuild the car. That's not how mids are. You basically scour for a while and then something pops up and then you grab it. You can go to some of the Facebook forums and you can ask and some people say, oh, I've got one of those and then you can get it that way. That, that's probably the best way to do it um, if time is a problem. Um, some things just don't seem to turn up and other things come up more than you think. Um, so my plan is because I've got so much restoration to do for my mids to get them back to perfect or as close as I can get them, um, I need to do work on every single one. So what I'll probably do on the show is I will pick one that I have the most amount of parts for that uh, I have and then I will restore that on the show. Once that's done, we'll put it back on the cool wall and then pick up the next one restore that one and then work our way down every single one until eventually every single one of these mids is back to as close to perfect as I can get it. Another project that is pretty much finished, I'll put a link up here if you haven't seen the running and building video for the Tomahawk, the Courier Show Tomahawk Riri. Um, the only thing left to do on this is the stickers that were on the car. I uh, took them off, they were they, they, they just flaked off too much. So I need to go around and paint them again uh, by hand. So that's what's left to be done on this one. But really this led me down the path of picking up one of these. Now, if you don't know the Scorpion, basically it runs on almost the same chassis as the Tomahawk, but it's a tub, a tub design chassis sitting on the same rails as the Tomahawk. Now, when I put, did this video, I also mentioned that I would be interested in um, getting one of these and someone reached out to me and that's why I have it. 
Now this is a runner and it, uh, I, when I got it, it was fully built. Uh, I got the box, the manual and everything with it. Uh, and it's actually in really good condition. It hadn't done many miles at all. The only thing that I've done since I've received it is I changed this metal plate for a new one because it was scuffed along here. The plan is to blast this around the garden. So this one won't be a shelf queen. This will be the one that I actually do drive. And this one will actually just sit on the shelf. So that's the plan. I didn't do an unboxing video of it because I was just too keen to get it. <laughs> so I put some electronics in it. Um, I ran it the other day. I think the, the gearing is a little bit high for this motor because it was getting a little bit warm. So I'll probably change the motor out for something a little bit more powerful. I put in the 240 ST um, Koyosho motor. Um, the grass was a little bit long, so it could have been the resistance was a little bit high. Um, I will try it again today now the grass has been cut to see whether it's a bit happier. Um, I don't want to cook this motor, so I'll probably swap it out. But it runs lovely and it drives amazingly well. It's a little bit heavier than the uh, Tomahawk, obviously, because it's got the tub, the, the hard tub. But there's not that much in it, to be quite honest with you. Um, personally, if you're looking to buy one or the other, I would put it down to which one do you like the look of the most? I think you get a little bit more protection with this one for your electronics because everything is inside the tub versus where on this one, you've kind of got more access to inside. Look wise, they are very different cars. Um, I was a bit worried that I'm just buying the same chassis again with a different body on it, but they do feel very different. So you can have both cars and it, you can feel like you can justify it in not just, oh, I could have bought one car and just bought an extra body and just swapped it over. Um, so yeah, really tough. Uh, obviously they drive very similar. The only difference is obviously the tires are slightly different and the front tires are much bigger. So you get a bit of difference from that, but uh, love them. Absolutely love them. The Curio Show Legendary, Legendary Series is really knocking it out of the park at the moment. And hopefully we're going to see a mid really soon. Um, the Photon, I have uh, an order for already. So hopefully that will turn up. I think it's August, but we'll just have to wait and see. So that's these. So in an upcoming video, you'll see a driving video between the two probably. The next project that I haven't quite finished was the Avanti Mark II. If you haven't seen the Avanti build, I'll put a link up here for you. Um, it's very close to being finished. The only thing I've got to do left on the channel is I need to do a running video and a final thoughts review. And also I'm getting hold of some uh, Avanti decals from the original car to put on instead of using the ones that come with the kit. Completely didn't like them. so. Uh, I'm going to do that modification. I might see if I can get some carbon parts just to dress it up a little bit. Um, so not too much modifications to come to this car, but it's an ongoing project. So you will see this turn up as soon as the decals arrive. Basically, that's all I'm waiting on. Usually they take two to three weeks. So that's the Avanti Mark II. Now, this is the project that I get hounded all the time uh, what's going on with that from you guys? And that is my driving 959 Porsche chassis swap. Now I'll put a video up here if you haven't seen that already, but I basically took a Jimny uh, TL-01 chassis, shrunk it down to its smallest size, uh, wheelbase, and then that fits perfectly on a 959 body that I got from TBG. Now I've cut it all out. I've also upgraded the oil shocks and it's sitting okay. I want to probably lower it a fraction. I did think I was going to try and get it to the point where it looks like the original one with the wheels quite far away. Um, so I haven't decided whether I'm going to do that or I'm going to lower it. I, I do have the option. Um, at the moment, it actually works perfectly. Everything clears. It doesn't matter on full travel. Nothing's hitting anything. It lines up perfectly. So the only thing left to do is a full paint of this body, which I will do. Um, also, the driver cockpit, I wasn't sure whether the driver cockpit would fit in this car with this chassis, but it does. Now, I'm having a set of 959 uh, cockpit drivers professionally painted at the same time with the same person. And once that comes back, it will go into this car and these uh, will come out of this chassis and go into this one. So, because I'm quite happy with those, but they're not amazing. And I'm trying to push this up uh, from a higher finish 
kind of thing. So this will come back onto the channel. Now, the only reason it kind of dropped off is I was doing a few other builds. Um, the um, Terra Scorcher jumped up and then a few other things jumped in and I built a few other cars like the uh, Avanti um, Comical. Um, also from my side, painting these bodies actually, to do them properly, you've got to take your time with them because they're two-tone blue and white. And I've done them one already and it took a lot of effort to do that. So I'm kind of not overly excited to paint this body, even though I should just get it done really. I have all the, the spoiler and all the decals and everything available. So I've got everything to finish this so it looks almost identical. The only thing that I uh, might do is I've also changed the wheels so to something that matches, even though I like these wheels, but they're not relevant. Whether I'll keep these wheels and paint them yellow or, or just try and get the adapters to get the right wheels, I don't know, we'll see. But I have everything to get this one finished, but really I've kind of been shying off it because I just don't feel the vibe to paint this body. I started masking it up, but I kind of, it'll come back into my mojo and I'll get it done and then I'll blast it around. Um, so that's what's happened with it. It will get finished on the channel, I promise, but it could be 2024. No, it'll be done in the next next month to two months probably um, but for everybody out there yes you can do it it works perfectly well um, there's no kind of hacking or anything it lines up perfectly the hardest part is you you don't have much gap to play with so lining up the body because you have to drill your own uh, peg holes you've got to get it bang on otherwise you'll have problems that was the hardest part no modification to the body apart from the holes and no modification to the chassis apart from going to the smallest wall base and you have to get the smallest propeller uh, bar because it doesn't come in the kit. So if you want to do one of those, don't wait for me to paint the body because it's kind of irrelevant. It's just purely cosmetic. The actual structure of the car and the suspension, everything works brilliantly. All the steering and everything. And I've blasted it around the garden and actually crashed it before I've even painted it. Um, and it works great. So if you want a driving 959, do buy yourself a Jimny and go for it because it works excellent. Also, I've picked up some speed tune gears that, that came in the other day. So um, I wanted to do a few more little mods at the same time. Another project that's been languishing for quite a while, but it's now bubbled its way to the top, is my vintage Tamiya Astute. It's been sitting on the cool wall for oh, geez, six months or so. Um, if you haven't seen the unboxing video for it, I'll put a link up here. Um, I've been slowly collecting parts in the background, and I've got new arms and new bulkheads and things like that. But what's pushed it right to the top is I now have one of these. Now these are pretty rare. Now I don't know if you know, but the original Astute's gearbox was not the best. So uh, I think it was two years later the Super Astute came out. Don't quote me on that, it could be a year. But, but it was a year to two years, the, the difference between the original Astute and then the first Super Astute. And then they changed the gearbox to the TTC gearbox to address the issue. Now unfortunately you can't just take this off and stick it on this car. It's not exactly the same. But Tamiya did an upgrade where you could have an upgraded gearbox and put it on this one. Now, these are super hard to find and really expensive, but I was lucky enough to get my hands on one and that's what really pushed the Astute to the top. Uh, so I really wanna get this car looking absolutely perfect. I also have a brand new body and I have uh, the correct decals as well. I have um, original decals and original body um, I also have some high caps as well for this car. So I have all these rare little parts. Um, so now is the time to push the Astute up the list and get it looking absolutely bang on, super you know, tricked out with all the uh, fancy bits that are really hard to find. So that will be coming really soon, probably in the next week to two weeks. And I've saved the best for last. This is a Hornet June Watanabe. Well, most of it. I managed to pick up basically about 85, 90% of it. Um, I have actually got the tires that I wanted, but they're on my uh, frog at the moment. But I need to find some rear tires again, and I'm missing one tree, because uh, obviously the trees are all in purple. Um, I have the decals, and I had a body as well. It's got the chassis, the arms, the wheels, uh, pretty much everything I need apart from one tree, which is basically the little tiny supports for the gearbox. Now I could just use normal uh, ones, but they're a different color. So I'll just sit on this one. Now this one is just 
I grabbed it while I could because the prices of these have gone bonkers. So um, uh, I'll just keep an eye out and eventually one of them will turn up. I did see the tree that I need turn up about three or four months ago, but obviously didn't need it then. So that is coming to the channel at some point too, but that will be quite a while down the road. So don't badger me going, well, you're gonna do it next week, next week, whatever. Plus a lot of people don't seem to like the June Watanabe um, or Hornet. For me, I like it. It's just the most bonkers, crazy thing that they did. And uh, I really wanted one, but the prices of them have gone insane. You know, they're going from like 270 to 360 pound now. Um, which is bonkers. Obviously, I got this for way less than that, but this is like the hard way to do it. But I will end up with a full car at the end. So that's it. That's what's coming in the next couple of weeks. Mm, a little bit longer than that. But uh, yeah, so I just wanted to give you an update. Um, I've been really busy because I'm finishing up with my company at the moment. Um, so I'm being pulled back because they finally realized I'm actually leaving and they're not quite sure who's gonna do my work. So they're asking me to run around and train lots of people and things like that. So uh, having a quiet finish to my job is not really gonna happen. I'll be uh, working flat out until the day I finish. But then it's all RC Kicks and everything. So if you haven't already, head over to RC Kicks uh, Facebook page there's 1300 or so people now on there chatting doesn't matter whether it's um, Schumacher's, Kyosho's, Tamiya's or all the other ones that are out there we love all brands all manufacturers crawlers everything and uh, if you want some merch we've got merch you'll find it over on that page anyway and also we've got a patreon if you want to support the channel thanks so much see you on the next one bye bye Check out one of these RC Kicks videos for some more RC fun.